there is only one Mr. Arsenal and he recently celebrated 70 years at the club. Hello and welcome back to my channel over and over and over again which features everything to do with Arsenal. Now this video just features a special tribute really to a man who's been involved at the club for 70 years now uh, and that man of course is Ken Fryer OBE. Now Ken Fryer was born on the 13th of August 1934 so yesterday was actually his 85th birthday so many happy returns uh, Ken I'm sure you enjoyed uh, a nice day yesterday with, with your family and friends. Now it's quite an interesting story about how Ken first got involved with the club. Um, it was just after the Second World War, 1946, uh, and Ken and a few of his friends were playing football in the streets outside Highbury. He was a local lad born and raised in the area, you see, so um, they used to do that on a regular basis. On this particular day, um, Ken accidentally kicked the ball. It went underneath the car of what so happened to be the then Arsenal manager, George Allison. Um, he got out of the car, had a chat to the guys and said to him if they fancied working at the ground at the next match which they did um, and that was of course the start of Ken Fryer's long and distinguished Arsenal career. It wasn't until the 1st of August 1950 that he was officially appointed as a full-time member of staff um, working in the office um, so on the day of the cup final this year that was actually his 70th anniversary that he'd been working for the club which is an amazing achievement um, for him. Now he did various jobs at the club through the early years uh, and then in 1973 he was promoted to club secretary on the retirement of Bob Wall um, and that was a position that he held for the following 10 years. Then in 1983 here he was promoted to managing director. Now that also in that year 1983 of course it was the same year that uh, David Dean joined the club as well um, and between them they helped to uh, revolutionise the club and move it into the modern era. Um, for, for those of us of a certain age we can remember that sort of back in the early 1980s it, it did seem as though the club was still stuck maybe in the 1950s a little bit with a marching band on the pitch and you know all these great traditions of course but um, once 1983 came around, David Dean uh, obviously joined the club and, and Ken Fry was made managing director. The club did move into the modern era, um, which it needed to do. Um, and f from that point onwards, we've seen the way that the club has changed. Um, Ken Fry held the role of man managing director until the year 2000, which of course during that period, the club probably uh, enjoyed its best period of success in its history, or certainly since the 1930s. Anyway, um, now one of Ken Fryer's main roles at the club was to negotiate the contracts of the managers and the players. Um, so all the players that joined the club between 1983 and 2000, all those great names that we can remember, um, their contracts were all negotiated by the great uh, by the great man himself. Um, of course, as well, um, just before he stepped down from the from the role of managing director. He was involved in the transition from moving the club from Highbury to the Emirates. Now I know the move didn't actually happen until 2006 but the wheels were put in motion as early as 1998. If you remember that was when we played our Champions League home games at Wembley um, selling out over 70,000 tickets for each of those games and the club realised then that Highbury which at the time capacity was only 38,000 you know following the, the Taylor reporting to the Hillsborough disaster all seater stadium and of course the redevelopment of the clock end um, as a single tier stand as opposed to a double tier stand which was maybe a mistake by the club um, so only 38,000 capacity at Highbury so to move the club forward everybody realised that the move would have to happen and Ken Fryer was one of the, the chief people to help that happen and uh, negotiating with the Islington Council to ensure that um, the planning permission went ahead and everything else that goes along with, with the building of a new stadium. So he was really instrumental behind that as well. Um, in the year 2000 as well, he did receive an OBE for his services to football. And then in 2004, he was given the freedom of the London Borough of Islington, of course, his home borough where he'd been brought up uh, where he was born and, and, and grew up so a great honor obviously for a, for a local lad as well um, briefly in 2008 um, he did step back into the role of managing director just to, in an interim uh, measure between the uh, sort of Keith Eidelman removing himself from the club and Ivan Gazidis taking over um, and then of course in 2011 at the Emirates Stadium there was a statue unveiled of Ken Fryer 
Um, it's sort of a memento of the great work that he's done at the club. And it was also a, a, a statue of him as a child playing football to, as a reference back to how he got involved in the first place. And it's quite unusual, isn't it, for someone to have that sort of position at one of the top football clubs in the country. Usually it's a businessman who've made their money elsewhere and then invested into the club. In fact, you know, most of Arsenal's board now are similar to that. Whereas with, with Ken Fryer, of course, you know, he came from uh, from nowhere, if you like, worked his way up from, from the T-boy. He was a match day runner in the early days and stuff like that to, to take over that role. So it's a great story uh, and what a great servant he's been to the club, um, overseeing all, all the success that we've had and the way that the club's developed as well. Another thing he was really instrumental in was the Arsenal in a community which he helped set up in 1987, which is uh, where the club help out local community projects, set up local community projects to help the, the children in the local area. Obviously, that's something really, really close to, to Ken's heart as well, being a local lad himself. So, um, and the success of that, which is still going on today, is another great, uh, great thing that, uh, that he's done that he's done for the club over, over the years. Um, so I just really wanted to make this video just as a, as a tribute really to highlight the great work that he's done over such a long period of time. You know, he came from you know, the streets around the corner to Highbury to, to become managing director of the club. It's a great story, isn't it? And what a great man and what a great job he's done at the club. So I just really wanted to, to pay tribute to that, obviously, the day after his, his birthday and also just after the 70 years. I mean, that's an incredible story, isn't it? Let's hope there's many more years um, still to come. So thanks for all the work you've done for the club, Ken. And, um, you know, it's just a little tribute to, to you. So that's this video now. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I so say it's a new channel, I'm trying to build it up. I'm trying to throw in a bit of different content. Um, yeah, there will be the odd transfer news here and there, particularly when we sign players. But I want to steer away from that now. I want to maybe concentrate on a few different different things, really, some different content to keep you all engaged in it. Um, I'm going to be doing some live stuff as well, some podcasts, got some special guests lined up for them in the next couple of weeks. And then, of course, we'll be back into the season again um, with matches to talk about and, and all kinds of stuff like that, you know, match previews, all that's coming up as well. So stay tuned to the channel if there's anything that you'd like to, to see on here please let me know in the comments if you want to put any comments about chem fryer as well that'd be great so please do that as well um, and in the meantime i say please subscribe to the channel click the, the little bell so you get a notification um, when new videos come out I'm, I'm doing you know at least one a day at the moment sometimes two or three so there's lots of content to come hope you enjoy it and i say please stay tuned for more but in the meantime as always come on you gunners